Seeing isn't always believing, at least when it comes to evidence gathered by police body cams. But Alan Schaffler has more on a Seattle initiative to let the public see what officers are actually doing. Alan. John, interesting process. The Seattle Police Department acknowledges that this is something that's in a very early experimental stage. They are trying a range of different methods. They're trying to get video out to the public just as fast as possible. But this is all new for them, and they're trying to balance the demands of uh, freedom of information requests and to uh, protect privacy at the same time. Police, get away! Police body camera images of an anti-police protest in Seattle spilling onto a freeway ramp. It's raw video now available for anyone to see. It's on YouTube, where the Seattle Police Department has its own channel dedicated to this kind of footage, SPD Body Worn Video. It's an approach championed by a computer programmer in Seattle, Tim Clemens. He wanted to see all the video shot by Seattle Police dash cams, and his huge freedom of information request prompted a public discussion on accountability and transparency in policing. The ultimate goal is that American police are going to handle every situation to the textbook, exactly how the best professionals on earth would handle it, okay? And they'll be held to task by people watching the video. Yes. Seattle PD invited Clemens to try different ways of editing the video, blurring out faces and information that might violate privacy, making it easier to approve the video for public release. The effort to improve transparency comes as Seattle police are under federal supervision, monitored by the Justice Department after an investigation found improper use of force a chronic problem. On the YouTube channel, some clips are fuzzy, silent, black and white. Others are in color with full sound. As the police department tries a variety of approaches to figure out what works best. Body cameras and the video they generate have been key issues in the debate over police reform since the shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. There was no video of that event, video that could have answered so many questions at an early stage. But just having video doesn't necessarily mean those kinds of questions will be answered. In Los Angeles, one of the officers involved in this shooting was wearing a body camera, but LAPD won't release the video. The same thing could still happen in Seattle. Right now, they're not uploading everything they have. There's just too much of it. You'll find more than 100 YouTube clips at SPD Body Worn Video and more going in daily. But they tell us they have more than 400 terabytes or 450,000 hours of video already. And Seattle's body cam program is still in the testing phase. Now, Tim Clemens, that programmer, might have been the one to get the, the ball rolling, but there are a lot of people working this problem and working it hard. A Seattle PD spokesperson tells us today they're just trying a range of methods. They want to get as much video out to as many people just as fast as possible. So, so let's talk a little bit more about the, uh, the video mm -hmm. and the purpose of the video. It's intentionally blurred. So, so what good does that do for the public? The concept is that you can redact or blur a lot of that video, edit it so that people can tell what's happening. But if for uh, a criminal trial purposes or a freedom of information request situation, somebody can say, I'm curious about exactly what I saw in that video, they'll still have the original clear video with sound uh, in the system on the servers or in the cloud and then they can provide that for a reasonable, reasonable freedom of information request. That initial redaction, and they're trying a bunch of different ways of presenting it, is just to say to people, here, here's the video, it's yours, it's public information, we're just not going to let you see every license plate and every face. So, so in Seattle, how long do you think it'll take before they'll actually um, agree on what the best program is? Boy, just a work in progress at this point, John. Remember, 450,000 hours of video that they <laughs> already have. So they're just trying to figure out, uh, eventually they'd like to get to a point where as much video as possible goes immediately to that uh, a channel, that YouTube channel or something like it, 
and gets redacted, gets edited automatically so that it doesn't take a lot of personnel time to it's do a, that it, job. It, it, it but they have a lot of work ahead. Sounds like a big library management problem. All Huge, right, uh, exactly. Alan, thank you very much. You bet.